This week on Outdoor Bound TV. We travel to the Grand Rapids area of northern Minnesota, where it's all about panfish with professional guide Reed Latello of Wings and Walleye's Guide Service. First, we head out onto the ice for some midwinter crappie and bluegill action. Then we return in the month of May for some open water fishing where we target spawning crappies. Awesome buck. That was a dandy. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Real Deal Mineral, Brew Pub Pizza, Meyer Recreational Buildings, and Colby Chrysler Center. This mineral is a game changer. I've put the odds in my favor. It's time to close the deal. I wouldn't change a thing. Finally, the buck of a lifetime. Real Deal Mineral, the results speak for themselves. Brew Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lotta Matza Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Pick it up today at your favorite local grocer. Brew Pub Lotta Matza Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. At Meyer Recreational Buildings, you'll get a certified building experience where we assure you a worry-free, guaranteed, high-quality recreational building. Designed by outdoorsmen like you, Meyer Recreational Buildings are built with the highest quality American-made materials. Build with confidence. Build with Meyer. My name is Jeff Meyer from Meyer Recreational Buildings. Call me today for a better way to build. Visit our website at MeyerRecreational.com and pick out your design today. When winter weather makes driving difficult, fight back with a newer pre-owned vehicle from Colby Chrysler. Isn't it time you test drive the Ram 1500 Voter Motor Trends Truck of the Year not once, but twice? That's right, twice. It's just a short drive to Colby to check out our new and used selection of four-wheel drive vehicles to help you tackle winter's toughest driving conditions. Welcome home to Colby Chrysler. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm your host, Kurt Walbeck. On this week's show, it's all about panfish as we head to Northern Minnesota with our good friend and professional guide, Reed Latello. Now, first up, we're gonna head out onto the ice for some of those famous Northern Minnesota crappies and bluegills. So let's head to beautiful Sand Lake where Reed and pro staffer, Tim Roycraft, are already on the ice. Today is January 5th, I believe, beginning part of uh, January, and we're out here chasing panfish. And uh, it's overclass skies, as you can see, but the fish that are down there are not seeming to mind. They're, uh, they're definitely all over the flasher, and uh, just in the last 45 minutes here, boy, they sure got hungry. So hopefully we can keep it after. Here's another nice crappie here. Not exactly what we're looking for for the dinner plate, but uh, I know that there's more down there. So we are gonna tuck this one back down the hall and see if we can find another one. Here comes one on the graph here. There he is. This one feels like a little bit nicer one. And remember folks, real, really slow when you're fishing this deep water and you plan on letting a lot of these fish go and just keeping a handful of supper for supper like we're doing today is just real, real slow. And these, uh, these fish will definitely go back. Um, you know, there's a great school, uh, great school below us now. So even that one's borderline keeper. 
Um, we're gonna let him go and see if we can find a couple more that are uh, that are hungry. You know, they're definitely eating right now. The, the locator's full of fish, just like this one, so we're gonna let this one go as well. Got a nice bluegill crappie on here. We're up here in northern Minnesota. Fishing for targeting these big crappies and bluegills. It's a pretty nice crappie there. What we're doing is just jigging small tungsten jigs with a wax worm and uh, pulling out a few nice crappies and bluegills today. Uh, the bite's been kind of slow, but we're getting quite a few fish in the uh, last hour here, so they're starting to hit. You know, some of the equipment that I use to chase these panfish is a nice quality flasher and a, uh, and a soft tip rod, whether it's a uh, uh, a built-in spring bobber like you guys might see or just a, a, a real soft tip um, built-in rod is uh, is kind of a must especially for these light for these light biters now I've, I've been bit three times here and, and haven't caught one here so uh, a quality flasher a good auger to drill lots and lots of holes and a soft rod tip like I said whether it's a built-in uh, built-in spring bobber or a uh, or a quick tip rod of some sort is a, is a is a must to put a lot of panfish on top of the ice and you know I can do it you guys can do it as well just uh, just get quality equipment and you'll definitely put fish on the ice I'm using a new rod today made by Beaver Dam it's a titanium tip stick and it has a nice little feature here the tip is kind of a spring type bobber and it slides in and out. So if you wanted to say jig, uh, jigging wraps or something real stiff where you didn't want the tension, you can just slide that out and when you're fishing non-aggressive pan fish, you can really tell the bite. It's really helped me today. It also it runs full length of the shaft of the rod and it, it rattles. It gives some vibration down to the jig down the bottom. Seems to entice the fish. Uh, I really like the rod. It's nice and well balanced and you can really feel the fish when they hit it. It's cold out. The holes are icing up. There's one. Just hammered it. I think this is another crappie because that fish was suspended about six feet off the bottom. Oh yeah, another nice crappie. This one just hammered it. These fish are six, seven feet off bottom. If you were going in there, um, with a willow stick and some yarn to go and try to catch these panfish, you would find bottom, pick it up a couple feet, and sit on a bucket and hope and pray. Um, with quality electronics, you know from hole to hole where these fish sit, where your bait sits in the water column, and it just, you target way more bites and you can put food on the table. Here's another one here. Feels like a little bit nicer one. Getting some good pull on the rod here. Take a look. I'm wrapped up in the transducer. That's what's nice about the Deer River Grand Rapids area. You never know what you're going to catch, whether it's a small bluegill, a big bluegill, a big crappie, or a small crappie. Um, if your rod's bent, that's a blast to me and for everybody out there. If you can catch a pile of big fish, a pile of little fish, but if you're getting your rod bent and you get the real fish up like this, um, fast and furious, I suggest coming to the Deer River Grand Rapids area. 
Well, when I'm guiding customers, um, a lot, you know, get a lot of questions on the way to the lake or when we're setting up. Um, and it goes as far as, you know, how to move my jig underneath the water. And I tell everybody to see what the fish are doing, the reaction of the fish. Uh, a lot of times I drop all the way down to the fish, stop about six, eight inches above them and give that jig a couple good hard sweeps and then just twitch the bottom. Um, just twitch the jig a little bit and it seems to trigger them, you know, and you might need to drop all the way through the fish, stop, reel up, and then maybe just pull it nice and slow through the fish. Uh, you know, every day is different, every lake is different, and uh, today we have just been dropping it to the fish, stopping six, eight inches above the fish, and just giving it a couple nice hard sweeps, and then just twitching the rod tip. Oh, look at this one, this is a big bull bluegill here, caught on a plastic. Um, and, and I, I can't stress enough to let these big bluegills go. These things are super old and we cherish them. They're, they're definitely a great fight. And I just, I just take pride in catching big bluegills like this. So I try not cleaning very many, this, the, the eight, nine inches. But when you're getting into these big bluegills, this range of nine and a half to 10 inches, we like to put these back and get some nice big bluegills for the future. Got a little surprise here at the end of the rod. As I was dropping down, and I wasn't even watching my sonar, um, I just felt this fish hit um, on the way down. So it, it could be a whitefish, it could be a northern, it could be a walleye. Um, I don't know, uh, you know, I don't know what what this one is here, but um, that's what's great about fishing. You, you never know what you're going to catch, and it doesn't matter to me if I'm catching bluegills or crappies or walleyes or pike or. Um, whatever it might be. If my rod is bent and, and my drag's pulling like it is now, this is an absolute blast. We're using real light tackle, so all I'm doing is just, fight, is just fighting this fish and, uh, and just letting it go. Here comes his beak. It's just a, just a pike here. Boy, that was fun on light tackle. Um, just a just a small pike came out of uh, came out of nowhere, blindsided this tungsten jig with a plastic, and gave me a chance to uh, to put him on top of the ice. Well, as I mentioned, today is. Uh, is uh, beginning of January and a lot of people ask um, what's the best time to target panfish every lake is definitely different um, you know low light conditions for sure in low light conditions is uh, is when I like to target panfish whether it's uh, early morning um, or right in you know right when the Sun's hitting the trees or cloudy days like today you can typically get these panfish to bite all day long using quality electronics as uh, as an ice fisherman has really changed the game quality electronics not only that you get to see your jig know that there's fish down there but when you do get to read it you get to know if it's soft bottom or hard bottom um, or what consists of what's down there today we're we, we know what's down there we know it's sand and uh, we're using our electronics today we're reading them really well we found these fish they're six seven eight feet off bottom at times and we're watching our bait go all the way down to the fish and the fish actually coming up out of the school and uh, and biting so and that's what we're looking for this is a nice northern Minnesota crappie that one came up out of the water column as you can see that thing inhaled the bait in the plastic that I'm using today hey folks Reed Hotel with Wings and Walleyes guide service you're watching Outdoor Bound TV we'll be right back after these messages 
Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Strike Master, Markham Technologies, Otter Outdoors, and Rapala. Delivering power on demand with the push of a button. The new 50 volt lithium laser from Strike Master is capable of making short work of as many as 56 holes in 24 inches of ice on a single charge. Featuring many of the same components found in all of Strike Master's power augers, the lithium laser cuts no corners and delivers uncompromising durability. This winter, don't settle for anything less than the dependable Strike Master lithium laser. Ice fishing's first full power, high performance electric ice auger. Introducing the new wireless pan cam camera system from Markham Technologies. The groundbreaking interface that allows an angler to wirelessly monitor and control the left right pan of a remote camera from up to 300 feet away. The Markham pan cam system transmits a live video stream via Wi Fi back to your Apple or Android device, and the free Markham app is even capable of connecting to multiple cameras at the same time for multi camera on ice coverage. This winter, take full control of your underwater camera with Markham Technologies wireless pan cam camera system. The new Extreme Thermal Shelters from Otter feature a new look and unmatched protection from the elements. The fully insulated Pro XT 1200 features a 1200 denier shell built for extreme conditions, while the Thermal Top XT 650 features a 650 denier shell that locks in heat and eliminates condensation. All Extreme Thermal Shelters are built on Otter's legendary roto molded sled and proven oversized square tube frames. The all new Extreme Thermal Shelters from Otter, built tougher, stronger, smarter. The new ultralight rip and wrap offers a smaller profile and slower, more seductive action on the fall than any other rattle bait on the market today. The number four ultralight rip and wrap is irresistible to big perch and slab crappie, yet it fishes big enough to tempt trophy caliber predators during a cold front or anytime walleye, pike, or lake trout key in on smaller profile baits. This winter, when you hit the ice looking for your next lunker, think big, go small with Rapala's new ultralight rip and wrap. Here are this week's Outdoor Bound TV viewer photos. Now, before we left you for the break, we were catching crappies and bluegills through the ice in northern Minnesota with professional guide Reed Yelatello. Well, next, we're going to head back to the Deer River, Minnesota area, this time on Cutfoot Sioux, just outside of Bowen Lodge. It's the month of May, and the crappies are in on the spawn beds. Now, we're going to try some unconventional methods of catching some of these northern Minnesota crappies. There's a fish. Ooh, here's a nice one, Reed. Oh, he's caught up in those weeds. <laughs> what do you got, a bass there? No, you got a rock bass. I can get this crappie loose. Looks like a good one. Hey everyone, today we're on Cutfoot Sioux in northern Minnesota and the crappies are spawning. So we're here with Reed Yelatello from Wings and Walleye's Guide Service, and Reed's got us in a shallow area. We're in about three, four feet of water, and these crappies are spawning in here. And uh, as you can tell, boy, that's a dandy fish, isn't it? Look at the, look at the colors on that. What a beautiful, beautiful northern Minnesota crappie. These crappies are in the shallow water and they're spawning. It's the first part of June, um, and what there is, they're coming into the reeds here, and you can see the spawn beds. And, and Reed, you said you've been fishing in here the last couple days and, and having some pretty good luck, huh? These male crappies are up here. They're, they're building their beds right now. The water temp is, is prime. 
and uh, you know that's what we're doing we're just in here kind of sight fishing them kind of windy today so we really can't see them that well um, so just pick a pick an opening in the weeds and and that's what's in there so <laughs> now we're using a little bit of unconventional equipment you can see i'm using my fly rod today uh, reed's also been using a shorter ice fishing rod and really all we're doing is we're fishing right over the side of the boat we're trying to find the beds here in the shallow water and in this reed grass and uh, finding some of these beautiful beautiful black crappies we're here again on Cutfoot Sioux in northern Minnesota. <laughs> what a beautiful fish. Very nice. So I just caught this one out of a bed. Um, this one's a little bit more golden. So more than likely it's a, uh, it's a female coming in to, to do her thing after the males has built the bed. So we're going to go ahead and let this one go. It's a tad on the small side anyways, so we're just going to go ahead and let this one go and continue fishing. There's a fish. Oh, well, looks like we had a perch. Right now in uh, spot number two of the day is uh, found a little bit warmer water at 70.2 degrees and uh, what we've been doing is uh, is just using a small Northland um, horizontal hanging jig on a fixed bobber system here and we're really shallow so all I got here is about two feet and uh, all I'm doing is pulling this Alumacraft into the weeds here and walking around the boat and fishing these beds that are holding these uh, male crappies. Oh, nice crappie. Another uh, cut foot crappie. have been picked through here but we're getting a few Got another one on real down close enough to get them oh, get in here there we go another female nice uh, golden uh, golden female here we're just gonna let her go nicer one here. Oh. Another 
another small crappie. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission, HHA Sports, Titanium Tip Stick, and Value Implement. This is my life. The Weekend Warrior. No more production lines or deadlines. This is why I work five days a week. I need speed, power, precision. I expect no less than the best. This is my best. This is my chance. This is my mission. Simple, efficient, powerful. Mission by Matthews. Optimizer by HHA Sports. The Optimizer Light Ultra, voted number one single pin adjustable sight for 10 years running. The Optimizer Speed Dial for crossbows, to the yard accuracy with a single reticle. And the Optimizer Horizon, offering unmatched accuracy from both short and long range firearms. All Optimizer sight systems utilize range dial shoot technology. Ask for Optimizer at a dealer near you. The new Beaver Dam Titanium Tip Stick is the first ice rod with a built-in extendable titanium spring bobber, making it the most versatile ice rod ever. Extend the bobber for ultralight panfish jig, or retract it for game fish or when it's time for travel. It even has a built-in rattling handle to attract fish. It took a while to come up with an ice rod worthy of the Beaver Dam name, but when we did, boy, we nailed it. Value Implement serves all of West Central Wisconsin and knows more stores plus more selection equals more value. And value means providing our customers with a wide variety of quality Kubota products. Value means providing outstanding Kubota product knowledge and customer service. Value means providing the largest selection of Kubota products at six convenient locations. Value Implement. More stores. More selection. More value. Product and promotional consideration provided for Outdoor Bound TV by these fine sponsors. Ooh, there's a fish. <laughs> you know, we've had a ton of fun today uh, out here with these just kind of pitching jigs. Uh, we're just using some small crappie jigs. We're pitching in about two, three feet of water and uh, finding a bunch of these beautiful, beautiful crappies uh, that are on the beds here in uh, northern Minnesota. Folks, join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the Midwest, around the nation, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Nice fish. I gotta look at the camera for that. Hey folks, I'm Rita Otello here with Wings and Walleye's Guide Service. You're watching Outdoor Bound TV. We'll be right, be back right after the. Hey folks, Rita Otello here with Wings and Walleye's Guide Service. We'll be right back after the. Why do I want to say that? Hey folks, I'm Rita Otello with Wings and Walleye's Guide Service, and you're watching Outdoor Bound TV. You're watching. Mm -hmm.